What's up guys? So today I'm going to teach you um, some advanced format of PPR. So tulad nga na sinabi ko sa inyo, di ba, kahapon or nung nakaraan, no? So may binigay din ako sa inyo notion, di ba? So sabi ko nga, understanding the BPR, okay? So, the, uh, okay, sabi ko nga dito, if you, uh, this, uh, there are more example of this BPR. So sticking to one example will make your life a mess, okay? So sabi ko nga sa inyo, huwag kayo mag stick lang dito sa binigay ko na to. Kasi bakit? Merong advanced BPR na tinatawag, okay? May advanced BPR na tinatawag. Ito yung simple concept ng BPR, pinakasimple, okay? Pero sabi ko nga sa inyo, kailangan maintindihan nyo muna to bago kayo magbubod sa advanced. Siyempre, basic to advanced, okay? Then extreme, <laughs> okay? So, yun yung step by step. So, now, since may idea na kayo sa basic, uh, sa basic BPR, so let's review one of it, okay? So, ano sabi ko sa inyo? One close candle and one up close candle. So, sige, uh, para magkaroon kayo ng reviewer, kasi nga, syempre, baka mamaya, nalito na kayo sa dami na natin na topic. So, punta muna tayo dun sa pinaka, yung pinakita ko sa inyo, yung easy, ito, ito, ito. Okay? So, panoorin muna natin ulit to. And now we're getting down to the brass tacks of intraday price action. And we have the 2022 model right here. So, it doesn't work. Apparently, it does every day, but... We have a gap, relative equal highs. What's resting above these highs? Buy stops. The market rallies up, runs through, engages the buy side, and trades into the inefficiency. Why doesn't it trade all the way up and touch the top of that? Well, what's this candle doing over here? It's one single pass, and then one single pass. That's a balanced price range. That's why you don't get all the way up in there. So there's two different forms of knowing how I don't anticipate a full closure or repricing to a fair value gap. Hi. Ano sabi niya? Ilan yun? Ilan yung sinabi niya? Ulitin natin. Two different forms of no. No pass. That's a balanced price range. That's why you don't get all the way up in there. So there's two different forms of Two different forms. How I don't anticipate a full closure or repricing to a fair value gap. High or low respective. Mm-hmm. If it creates these balanced price ranges where it's one single pass and one, one single, single pass, pass in between those two candles, the high and low, the highest of the gap, which would be this here, and the lowest would be down here. So that's your fair, I'm sorry, that's your balanced price range between these two ranges. This one big, I know some of you are confused right now. I have a lesson. Okay, so, dalawa. So, ito yung una. Okay? So, or yung binigay ko sa inyo, yun yung pinakauna. Ayun yung pinakauna example. Ito yun. Okay? Now, ito yung basic example. One pass candle. One pass, uh, one pass candle. BPR. Ayun yung matatawag yung BPR. And as soon as goes back to that BPR, we can short this one out. Dama? Kasi nga, it will, um, what? Serve as a brick wall sa ating trains. Dama? So, now, ito yung, uh, um, Ito yung basic, okay? Ito yung basic. Sorry for the term, hindi siya advanced, okay? Hindi pa to advanced. Ito yung basic, okay? Pero ito yung advanced. Halos walang pinagkaiba, no? Halos wala. Nawala lang pang consolidation, tama? Pero ito yung advanced, okay? It, ituturo ko sa ngayon sa inyo yung advanced na um, terms when it comes to BPR. Okay? So, let's say for example, okay, let's make an example first. So, let's make an example. So, let's say for example, ang market natin ngayon ay, let's say for example, hmm, paano kaya? So, let's say na ganito yung market natin or ganito yung market zone. So, as of now, ito yung market going down. Okay? And syempre, nakapag-create tayo dito ng BPR. Tama? Ayan. May BPR tayo somewhere around in this zone or in that zone. Okay? Lagyan natin ng box para naman magkaroon tayo ng, make, uh, magkaroon ng sense. Okay? So, pangalanan natin itong BPR. Okay? BPR. Balance price range. There you go. Now, ano yung expect natin sa mangyayari sa market? Syempre, babalik. Tama? Babalik. One up, uh, one up candle, one close candle. Tama? So, ibig sabihin guys, imagine na ito ay isang malaking red candlestick and ito ay green candlestick. Okay? In that case, matatawag nyo siya as BPR. Tama? So now, if nakita nyo naman yung price, okay? 
yung price natin, leaving it here, and umaalis na siya dito, then in respect niya talaga yung 50%, right around here, then definitely, that is a time that we can short this one out, or this BPR. Tama? There you go. Now, if hindi nyo naman to na short, or let's say, for example, hindi nyo to na short, let's say, for example, ito yung uh, red candle, and then this is the green candle, tama? And then, the price, ano nangyari sa price? Umalis na. Okay? So, in that case, Sir Kim, huli na ba kami para sa BPR? No. Okay? Hindi pa kayo huli sa lahat. Naiintindihan? Pero, this is what you call the advanced BPR. And bibihira pa lang ang nakaka, you know, nakakaalam nito. So, make advantage or take advantage of this one. Ito lang alam ng majority. Pero, hindi alam ng majority na itong zones na to, ito, itong zone na to, so let's make it official. Yan. Itong zone na to, and itong swing high na to, dyan sa BPR na to, let's see. Yan. Ito, ito, ito. Sorry. Ayan. So, itong dalawang sides na to, or let's say for example, 50% nga lang kasi, di ba? Ayan. Itong dalawang zones na to, matatawag nyo itong BPR, guys. Ha? Ang gulo, Sir Kim. So, ibig sabihin, from this, uh, from the swing na ginawa niya sa low, and dun sa last up candle na kinuha niya, then definitely BPR yan? Yes. You don't believe me? I, I, I can show you a proof. Okay? Pero tignan nyo mo to. Tignan nyo muna to. There you go. And extend that to the right. That is your BPR. Balance price range. Now, paano naging balance price range? Ano ba sinabi ko sa inyo? Umaalis ang presyo, tama? Pag sinabing umalis na ang price, or na, pag sinabing balance, eh, dapat iniwan niya na yon. And now, magre-reprise yan dyan. Kaya nga, balance balance price range repricing the price to that range now, babalik yan dyan and guess what hindi mag-open ang candle above this BPR it can go uh, pa, pwede magkaroon ng ganito okay, again I don't take my word out of context pwede magkaroon ng ganyan okay, yan and then weeks, right around here it's okay, it's fine, okay pero again, hindi mag-open yan dito Okay? Hindi mag-open ang candle above here. So, that's the good stop loss for you. And now, ano mangyayari sa price? After that, na mitigate na itong um, BPR, I hope, nakapag-position ka somewhere around dyan, sa zones na yan, and then, make it short. Naintindihan? This is the advance. Okay? This is what you call advance. BPR. Okay? This is what you call the advance BPR. Naintindihan? And now, para naman magkaroon tayo ng exercise, no? Exercise. Balikan natin ngayon yung pinanood nyo kanina. And now we're getting down to the brass tax of intraday price up. And trades into the inefficiency. Why doesn't it trade all the way up to the top of that? What's this candle doing over here? It's one single pass and then one single pass. That's a balanced price range. That's why you don't get all the way up in it. So there's two different forms of knowing how I... Two different forms and yun yung una, ito yung pangalawa. E bakit hindi nyo naman in-explain, Sir Kim, yung pangalawa? Don't answer... Ibig sabihin, Sir Kim, hindi mo na nahanap. Hindi mo nahanap yung pangalawang example niya when it comes to that um, BPR. No, I did find it. Sabi nga sa inyo, it took, it took me some time. It took me a while to find it. Okay. Pero nadaanan na namin yun, I believe. Wala lang talaga akong recording nun. Wala lang akong ability makapag-record or screen record that time. Pero guess what? Siyempre, since major, uh, marami na yung storage ko, kaya ko na i-screenshot or screen record yung mga parts na nagbisto ko. And guess what? It turns out to be what? It turns out to be... There you go. Let me pull up the video. There you go. And now, enjoy the 6 minute of this video. Forty-one zero zero point seven five. That's the close and open of that candle. The small little variance in price, you have to allow for that. Don't let that scare you. Don't let it be a, a source of fear or anxiety. That's normal. 
That's a normal thing in price delivery. So now price goes up into that area. We want to see, and I would be saying, if we were doing a live trade, I'd say, we want to see it deliver and go lower now. It goes down. So what's it doing here? It takes out this low here. So now this low to this high here becomes what? A bounce price range. Because the market has delivered both directions of buy side and sell side. Between this here, the R oil range, down to this low here, the market trades back up to what? Consequent encroachment. So consequent encroachment becomes the high end of the new balance price range. Because we've, we've traced back that far, there's no need to worry back to, the, back to here or this old low. It's, it's already done its work by going back and forth between these two candles. Think about that paint analogy. Are you going to paint the same section of the wall five times? No, you're wasting paint. Price isn't going to waste time. Time is important to it. It only has so many trading hours in a day. So you take your eye and your attention. You, you don't want to do this when price is trading live because you'll miss what you're supposed to be focusing on. But you want to be referring to it while watching price. So again, we're thinking The, uh, we're thinking that the price is going to continuously go lower. The market trades back up into this consequent encroachment here, which is now the new high of the balance price range. There's no necessity for it to trade higher. Does the willingness of price reflect wanting to go lower? Yes, it does. It takes out this low here, and then we come back up. What's permissible? If this is a balanced price range, it's painted price down, offered sell side, then it offered buy side, to the area where we're expecting to see price go to anyway, then it should go lower. It does. It leaves that price range. Can it go back up into this range? Yes. How far? Halfway. Because we're measuring bodies, we're looking at it through the lens of what? Mean threshold. Man, I should have charged you money for this. <laughs> so here is the mean threshold, 4097.5. Zero. That's what could reasonably be traded to, and it's permissible. It means it's allowed. You can expect that, and it doesn't upset anything. The market fails to go there. What does it do? It trades lower than that low now. So we're expanding our range, and it breaks lower. We don't even need to go back up to consequent, or, I'm sorry, mean threshold. We're looking for now any further advancement lower. What does this area here now become? Between mean threshold, which was never hit, this to this is your new balance price range. Does market want to trade away from that? It does. But now we're late in the day. What time of day? 15, 24, so it's 24 minutes after 3, New York local time. It's going to run. It's going to aggressively reach to the liquidity it's going to aim for for the day. It aggressively runs, trades to whatever 40, 70 and a quarter becomes. I don't even know what that is. I thought, hey, in my notes, I don't have anything that jogs my memory to that. It hits it at what time? 15, 34, so 34 minutes after 3. And then 20 minutes to 4, you want to be sitting and waiting for price to run on liquidity because at 15 minutes of, if you haven't already seen it by then, it's going to really aggressively run on liquidity that has not seen or hasn't been uh, tapped into. Meaning what? I told you the buy side liquidity would be right here. Where does it go? Right there. And now we're at a time of day where it's just going to trade listlessly now between this high and that low. And simply because the market's moving around and fluctuating and it ain't 5 o'clock yet, retail traders are going to try to trade in that and get caught up in a mess. When the only thing it's done is it's created a low, we come off the low, and it, it, it does a simple macro. It repeats over and over and over and over again. But reading price and understanding the order flow is essentially what I'm showing you here. Every time 
we have that overlap of price. If sell side's offered, it means it's going down, a down candle. If you're bearish, you want to see that down close candle be re-delivered with an up close price movement. And then back down. It does not need to close. It doesn't need to close with an up candle if it was a recent down close candle. So what do I mean by that? Um, only an example of that. Uh, all right, say, uh, see how we have this down close candle here? Say the next candle opened up and we traded up and overlapped all of that and then went down and made a lower low. And so it would have a wick there. That's the same thing as what I'm saying. Is it has to have both, every range between one price level and another to be there to be determined and deemed efficiently delivered is between both price points between any price point range in a price run it has to offer both directions it went down and up okay so ayun na sinabi niya no so kailangan both up and up uh, up and down ma deliver so ibig sabihin in this case makita nyo ano to balance price range. Umaalis. Nang umaalis sa balance price range, then you can always call that one as a pr balance price range. Okay? Paulit-ulit na progress. Or paulit-ulit lang na process. Okay? So now, ano to? May naka-annotate siya ng 4078.25. Ano yung, sin ano yung nakadrawing dito kanina? Yan. Extend that. That's your balance price range. For the higher time frame analysis. Look how the price reacts to that zone. And eventually, hit the sell side liquidity. Okay? I hope na intindihan nyo yung advance BPR. So, this is the last time we're going to talk about BPR for now. Okay? For now. Okay? For now muna pala. Sorry. Okay? Since why? Uh, mag advance tayo for another topic. Okay? mag advance tayo for another topic. So, again, please pass your assignment. Kung meron man kayong assignment na nakita or may makikita kayo sa mga ano nyo, annotate, uh, paki-annotate ako ng oras, kung anong oras yung nakita yun, paki-zoom in din, lower to higher time frame, kung meron man, kung pwede, so, yeah, thank you so much guys, hope you having a great day so far.